Now, how could something like this happen? Despite the fact that the World Central Kitchen coordinated their movements with the Israeli military and the team was leaving a warehouse in central Gaza after unloading shipments of food, they were hit by multiple precision Israeli drone strikes. They were riding in three vehicles, including two armored cars carrying the World Central Kitchen logo on the roof. In the op-ed, Jose makes it clear that World Central Kitchen doesn't take sides. Their work is based on the simple belief that food is a universal human right. It is not conditional on being good or bad, rich or poor, left or right. We do not ask what religion you belong to. We just ask how many meals you need. And they walk the walk. So far, in this conflict, World Central Kitchen has delivered 1.75 million hot meals in Israel and 43 million meals in Gaza. <laughs> that, uh, I mean, they get in there. Yeah. They get in there, yeah, they, they get in there with the food, and they do the job. They're like SEAL Team DoorDash. You got an unfolding human tragedy and an organization that's just trying to do good. I mean, they literally made a documentary about WCK called We Feed People. Welcome. They have been attacked by the IDF, and Hamas has hauled members of their team in for interrogation. So whatever you think should happen in Israel and Gaza, I hope we can all agree that people should be allowed to eat. And if you would like to make a donation that would go toward the peaceful, nonpartisan enterprise of allowing humans to have their most basic needs met, please think about donating to World Central Kitchen by going to this QR code right there. And do something radical. Feed people.